Atlas came out of a lot of trial and error that we've done throughout our client engagements. We found something that really worked for us and seemed to fit in a lot of different enterprises. So it really came out of something that was purely necessity. It's really simple to actually get uh, logs and metrics and parameters stored within your, your code. It's non-intrusive, very lightweight, so you can take an existing project and get those lines of code in very quickly and easily. And then Atlas's GUI actually handles a lot of the work. So you can go in, you can sort by metrics, you can sort by parameters, you can even visualize things on graphs to see how models have evolved over time. In addition, using a single line of Atlas code, you can actually go into the GUI, select the job, and send it directly to TensorBoard's GUI, meaning that you can utilize all of the important features that it already has in. So within Atlas, we actually have a built-in scheduler. So this can be set up across multiple nodes in your environment, and we can all submit as a team uh, jobs to the centralized location, which means that I can submit 15, 20, 100 jobs to this location, go for lunch, go for dinner, whatever I'd like, and come back later on. So in addition to the scheduler with multi-tenancy support, you can actually go into other people's projects. You can see what jobs they've run. You can leave notes for them within the GUI. You can even read the documentation that the person's left behind or write documentation for your teammates. Reproducibility in Atlas is top priority. The original goal was actually to make sure that we could go back to any point of time, any job that is run and replay it. And that's completely doable within Atlas. One of the coolest features of the scheduling system though is the fact that we can utilize preempted GPUs, which means that if you're running within a cloud environment, you can use GPUs that are eight times cheaper than regular machines. If those machines die halfway through a job, normally they disappear. With Atlas's scheduler, we catch those environments and rerun the job on a different new machine.